Kia ora, mai mai haere mai ki te whare wānonga Waikato i te taha o Student Health. Welcome uh, to this webinar today with the University of Waikato. Uh, we'll be presenting to you from Student Health um, and what we'll be doing will just be talking about our role and how it can support your learning. At Student Health, um, we tend to think of ourselves within the framework um, created by Professor Mason Drury, uh, Te Whare Tapa Whā. And Te Whare Tapa Whā really looks at your body as being like a whare. It's grounded in the whenua, you have your roots in the land, and from that you start creating your identity. And it forms from one side, which is your family, your social relationships, your friends, and with that comes your feelings of emotions, wellness, and your connectivity to the tour. And all of this, of course, is um, channeling through your body and you engaging with the world, the new world that you're learning and finding out at the University of Waikato. But of course, overarching all of that is your sense of connectedness. And we think about this in terms of spirituality. So that's who we think of you as, as student health, and that's how we think of ourselves as well. In student health, we've got a really diverse team of people. Um, and in all of the roles that we have, we occupy all of those dimensions, but we have particular focuses. So in student health, we have uh, mental health nurses, Nate and Courtney. Uh, we have chaplaincy and um, Anna Chapel, supported by Brother Andrew and Father Juan Puerto. Uh, we have a general practice, um, and we have a big team of general practice, and general practice, and, and Joe Thomas will be able to talk to you about that today. Um, we have a violence prevention coordinator, Kelly Redman. Um, and we have counsellors, um, Mike, Michelle, Chris, and then we have me, uh, Dr. Tafana Norpeda, and I'm the health promotion um, We're pretty easy to find at Waikato. Um, if you ever um, go to the main car park, we're right on the side of that. So we're kind of right in between the main car park, the lake, and, and Unirec, our recreation centre. So I'll pass you over to our clinical nurse, Dr. Thomas. Kia ora, my name is um, Jo Thomas, and I'm going to talk to you about the General Practice Clinic. So the General Practice offers all services that you would expect from your family doctor, but it's only for students currently enrolled with the University of Waikato. We have four general practitioners or doctors and a nurse practitioner. Our practice nurses are able um, to give you lots of services such as ACC, vaccines, wound care, um, and they can also give you treatments for common conditions such as chlamydia urine infections. Um, we have nurse prescribers and they're able to prescribe medicines for common conditions such as asthma and contraception. And you're welcome to book and uh, request a nurse prescriber when you ring up. We also have same day appointments for urgent health needs. Um, so that if you think you need to be seen sooner than the next routine appointment, please phone and ask for a nurse to triage your condition and then you might be able to get seen on that day. So we encourage you to enrol with Student Health Service, the General Practice Clinic. Um, that means that Student Health will become your primary care provider um, and you won't be enrolled with your other doctor. To do this, you need to fill in an enrolment form online or at the clinic reception. Being enrolled means that the clinic fees are reduced and there are some free clinic services. But even if you do not enrol, you can still use all the services at Student Health. So the fees um, for enrolled patients, it is $10 to see a doctor or nurse. And if you do not enrol, then it's more expensive. However, I encourage everyone to get a community service card because it means that if you don't enrol, it's cheaper, but also it's cheaper at other medical centres if you need help here. Please note that our appointments are only 15 minutes so that um, we can only deal with one concern per appointment. If you have multiple issues or you have a new mental health concern, please request a 30 minute appointment. We have um, a number of free clinic services for enrolled patients, um, including sexual health checks. And we also have fast sexual health checks. So this means you can do your own test. You don't need to see a doctor or a nurse. You simply go to reception and say that you want to do a fast check and then you'll be able to do one. Um, and remember that um, even if you do not enrol with the clinic, you can still use the other services such as mental health counselling for free. 
We are also offering telehealth appointments. Um, so this is suitable for doctor or nurse appointments when a physical check is not needed. Um, it's suitable for counselling and mental health nurses. And it means that you can access our services when you're not at any. Um, I'm going to hand you over to Corey to represent counselling. Thank you, Joe. Um, kia ora, my name is Corey. I'm a student counsellor at the um, Student Counselling Services. Um, I'm part of a team of um, the five counsellors, um, um, Mike, um, uh, Mike, sorry, Chris, um, Michelle, um, Roger and Gail, um, and I'm one of the students and there's another student named Sandy. So um, the counselling services, um, so, you know, we see students um, who experience, you know, through um, perfect example would be through the COVID situation. Um, a lot of issues around um, things that you might need help with. Um, so there are a few things to know about counselling. It's for free. Everything is confidential. Um, it is a brief intervention type of counselling service. Um, however, if you need more support and you feel that's um, something that we have beneficial for you, we can help out with that, make referrals to external organisations. Um, all the counsellors um, are registered with the New Zealand Association Counselling Code of Ethics, um, so we ensure that the professional practice is upheld um, ethically as well. Um, also for those who are in Tauranga, there's a counselling service there and we have an agreement with them out there. Um, and last of all, we also have our counselling tele telehealth service so we can talk about it over the phones. I'll pass time over to Courtney. Cool. Kia ora everyone, my name is Courtney and I'm one of the mental health nurses based at the Waikato campus. Um, there's actually two of us, so there's myself and our colleague Nate. Both Nate and I have experience um, over the last six years working in both adult mental health and child and adolescent mental health. And so this means that we're well equipped to support students with any mental health needs. Um, thank you. <laughs> um, so this service is free for all students, both international and domestic. Um, and we're able to provide students um, based here on Waikato and also over in Tauranga. Um, we provide short term support um, as well, um, but this looks different for each individual and it will just depend on what your needs are. Um, we're able to help with new mental health concerns or existing mental health conditions. Um, so this might look like changes in thoughts, mood, emotions and behaviour, um, or it might look like depression, anxiety, mood disorders, disordered eating, um, substance abuse and addictions and anything else that falls within that. Um, we provide a safe space that's confidential, free of judgement, to have a chat, and basically your first appointment would look like coming in, talking with um, either Nate or myself, um, telling us what's brought you in, what your concerns are, and letting us know what you're experiencing. And from there, we'll work with you quite holistically to see what's impacting your mental health um, and look at different support options and helping you to improve your wellbeing and help to keep you safe and successful in your um, academic journey. So we look at tools, strategies, advice, um, different talking therapies, guidance about treatment, so whether that might be uh, medication or not medication. Um, we can work really closely with other providers within student health um, or also um, external providers and your GPs. Um, yeah, basically, um, whatever that looks like, we'll just work alongside you for the best outcomes, hey? And, um, so there's a few different appointment types. So we have um, routine appointments, so you can book those in advance. Um, and if it's the first time we're meeting you, it's usually one hour, and following that will be 30 minutes. Um, we also have same day appointments every day from 1 till 3.30. Um, and we also have the ability to provide urgent um, or crisis support. Um, let's go on to the next slide. Um, online, if you go to that link, there is a whole heap of drop-down um, boxes with all different resources, tools, um, self-help tools, all the different helplines and some different phone applications. So um, I recommend that you check that out and have a look and there's also more information uh, about the service that we provide. So thank you and I'll hand over to my colleague, Kelly. Got it. My name is Kelly Redman and I am the Violence Prevention Coordinator um, on the Hamilton campus. 
Uh, so my role is typically around education and training. So normally that looks like training for staff and education uh, for students. And you'll see on the slide here that we have a link to Consent Matters. Um, this is a module around sexual consent. We're aware that not a lot of students have sexual consent education in high school. So um, if you're keen to learn a little bit more, um, then please go to that link. You can also learn a bit about bystander intervention um, through this initiative. So if you don't think that it's a sexual consent element that you're wanting to learn about, but you'd like to be able to help someone out if you noticed a bit of a dodgy situation, then that's a great place to go and learn some of those skills. So where to find that? Um, is in Moodle. Now Moodle is going to be your portal to find all of your papers. Um, so you'll go into find papers, which you can see in one of the images on the screen there. You'll search papers and just put consent matters into there. Then you can add that in your um, paper selection. The, the um, paper is completely free. Uh, not, unfortunately, not all your papers are free, but this one is. So download it and um, have a look. So another way that um, I support people, um, not just education and training, but if there's actually an issue that you want to discuss, then you can contact me through the violence prevention at waikato.ac.nz email address that you can see at the bottom of the screen there. So some of the support that I can do for students or for staff is actually just having a listen about what the concern is. So most of the concerns that I deal with are around sexual harm or family violence. So coming to me and having that conversation is completely confidential. It doesn't mean that I'm going to contact any other services. I'm not going to be contacting the police or Women's Refuge or anything like that. We can just have a conversation. But then if you did want to actually access some of those other community services, then I can help you do that um, through that service navigation aspect of that service. So sometimes it, you may also require some safety planning. And again, if for whatever reason you don't want to access some community services, um, we can actually do that together. So please take a photo of this screen so you have some of those details on there and um, get in touch if you want to have discussion about any of those things that I've discussed here. And next I'll hand you over to our chat from Brother Andrew. Thanks, Kelly. Kia ora koutou and welcome to the Chaplaincy Service at the University of Waikato. I'm Brother Andrew and my colleague here is Father Jay Peach, or Juan Pedro, and we are the two chaplains here at Waikato. In case you don't know, a chaplain is usually a religious professional who cares for the spiritual and pastoral needs of an institution, in our case, the staff and students of the university. The chaplaincy is more than just the two of us. A large part of my work is managing the use of the chapel, especially for the faith clubs and communities that meet on campus. A key role for both of us is pastoral care, working alongside colleagues in health, counselling and international to promote your well-being. Our service is free and confidential, and you can come and talk to us about absolutely anything, personal, spiritual, academic, whatever. We're both priests. I'm Anglican and Father JP is Catholic. As such, we offer religious services, prayers and house blessings, and also links to faith communities beyond our own. For example, I'm currently the chair of the Waikato Interfaith Council, and I have connections with Buddhists, Hindus, Muslims and others. We work hard to break down the stereotypes and prejudices around religion and promote a more inclusive campus. As you have heard this morning, the university is here to take care of your mind, also of your health, but uh, no less than that, also of your soul, of your spirit. Probably you have, maybe you have a religious tradition. You have here the opportunity to explore other traditions or to go deeper into your own religious tradition. As Brother Andrew said, uh, you will find a, an Anglican pastor here, a Catholic priest as well, but you will find also space for your own religious community. Sometimes university can be a bit overwhelming. It's like going into a library and knowing the answers you need are in there somewhere, but you can't find the catalog, you don't know where to look. Other times there's stuff going on in your life and you want someone to talk to, someone who won't judge you, but who can listen with compassion. You probably already have the answer within you, but it's not accessible 
until you can voice your fears or doubts, and then you can also speak your own truth. Sometimes you will need the specialist services of our counsellors or mental health nurses, but at other times you just need a friendly ear. Come on top to us, because you will understand that the university is a place where you are growing. Growing not only in your mind, not only in your intellect, and uh, all in, in your um, cultural background, but also internally. You will grow not only like the branches of a tree, but also the roots of a tree. And uh, that means that you will receive not only information, that is what at first sight university is about, but also formation, your personal formation that you can deepen during the time that you will spend in the University of Waikato. Chaplains are here for everyone, whatever their religious, secular or spiritual identity. If we can't answer your questions, we'll try to help you find someone who can. We're much more interested in building bridges instead of walls, so do make use of the chaplaincy service. As Brother Andrew told you, we are very easy to find. The Baby Good Fellow Chapel is very visible. It is just opposite the Unirank. And uh, there you have our phone numbers and our emails. Um, it, is, it is a very good idea that uh, you feel welcome there, that you find a place where you can even relax, um, but where you can find always a friend to talk to because many times that is what we really need. So God bless you, and now we'll hand you back to Tafanga. Shalom, Dr. Tafanga here. I um, should point out to you though that um, I'm not a medical doctor. I have a PhD. PhD is a doctor in philosophy as opposed to an MD, which is a medical doctor. So I can't really help you out with that rash. But what I can help you out with um, <laughs> is support for Tawira Māori, uh, support for Takatāpuni, LGBTQIA+, and also support for Pacifica students. So my own field of knowledge is I'm a co for Māori theorist, and I research in sexual health. But on the flip side of that, I'm also a globally recognised artist, with performance art and visual art. Um, so I'm one of those really annoying people who's really good at everything. But in saying that, I can support you with things that um, you might not have ever encountered before when you get to university. Um, it took me a really long time to get my PhD, and Went through a lot of adversity getting there. I was raised in a village, so I know what it's like to come from poverty and go to a really good space in your life. And so <clears throat> university is a really, really new space for a lot of you. And coming here is part of your ancestors' and parents' vision, and you, you carry that vision. And sometimes in your journey, it can be really hard to stay connected to that vision. And so <clears throat> I'm the person at university who can come and talk to you about those things. I'm the kind of person that can help reconnect you to that vision. It's really important for you to know that the role of health prevention, uh, sorry, health promotions coordinator, which is my role, uh, and mental health nurses, and our violence prevention coordinator. These roles are all paid for by your student union levy. And these roles exist because students said that they wanted, that they needed those kinds of support. So you pay me, and I'm, I'm here for you, I really am. So any issues that you have during the study, um, you can find me through student health. I'll pass you back to Joe. Thanks, Tafanga. Um, <laughs> so just to recap, um, all of the services that you've heard about today are under one roof at Student Health Service. Um, and so yeah, that includes uh, counsellors, mental health nurses, violence prevention, chaplaincy, um, general practice clinic and Tafana. Um, and so these are our phone numbers. So if you need to contact us, um, please phone us. Um, we're open at 9 a.m. till 4.30 p.m. Monday to Friday, and on Wednesdays we're open at 9.30. Um, if it's after hours, please don't hesitate to call Healthline. We also have Anglesey Clinic in Hamilton and Central if you need um, after hours health care. And in an emergency, please phone 111. Um, do we have any questions? If you'd like to type questions, please type now. <laughs> Might um, actually be everyone to come into the space yeah, and yeah. some questions together. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> You've had a question about do we have a Hindu temple in Hamilton? I'm not sure if we have a temple. We certainly have a, um, a Hindu community, and I, I know a number of Hindus on the Interfaith Council. So if you drop me a line, Aria, 
um, chaplain, C-H-A-P-L-A-I-N, at waikato.ac.nz. I'll check that out and get back to you. The city council actually publishes a directory um, for new settlers and immigrants, and that has a list of a whole load of um, religious communities in there. Um, but drop me a line and we can sort this out for you. Very happy to talk to you. Cool. Well, it looks like we have no more questions. Um, so, yeah, when you're at the University of Waikato, remember that while your academics really important, so is your well-being. So just come and visit, even if you don't use sets, just come and visit and see what our space is like and see what might be there. But in the meantime, thank you for coming. Kia ora, good luck for the future. Kia ora. Kia ora.